So order by can also operate on more than one column. Um, here, let me introduce the customers table in the Northwind database. Uh, basically, it stores all the information about this company's theor this theoretical companies. Uh, basically, all their customer inf information. And uh, you see here, we have the company that that customer belongs to, and the contact name of that company, uh, contact title, that kind of thing, address. A lot of info. Uh, one of the most hideous columns I've seen in my entire SQL career is this customer ID, because instead of generating them as integer values, as we saw in the products table, they did some sort of hash on the customer's, um, I guess, the co company name. So, anyway. Uh, that's highly uncommon, at least what I've seen. It's not common to do that, but really, as long as the values in your identifying column are unique, it doesn't matter what you use. But generally, we use integers, and then every time we get a new row, we just increment it by one. I'll show you how to do all that later in a different video. Okay, so this is the customer's table. Um, the reason I use this is because, notice we have, um, we let's see, I have country, and then I have... Uh, city so let's let's uh, let's let's filter some columns here let's let's get the contact name and let's get the city and let's get the country okay and run that query and this is a little better so now we only have three columns that I'm kind of interested in uh, but notice um well I have a Germany here and a Germany here and I bet there's more Germany yeah Germany Germany and a bunch of France and stuff so in order to uh, order this so that all the German customers are together. Uh, should be simple. We should say order by country. Uh, hit a five. Run the query again. And um, now look, we have all the Argentinians, Australians, uh, Brazil, all that kind of stuff, all nice and together. But notice the cities. The cities are still out of order. Now I could say order by city. And that, but that'll rejumble up all the countries. Yes, all the cities are in order, but the countries are out of order. So, so that's not really the effect we want to do. We want to do some sort of drill down where we say, well, give me all the countries, and then put those countries in order, and then order the cities within those countries. So the way we do that is we just say order by country, and then order by city, or just follow city with a comma here. Actually, run it, and then notice here, a country Argentina, Buenos Aires. Uh, that's not too interesting. Let's go to somewhere. All right here, here's Brazil. So we have Rio de Janeiro, um, all the Rio de Janeiro's together. And then we have this, I think it's Sao Paulo. Is that how to say Sao Paulo? Um, grouped together as well. Uh, forgive my uh, cultural ignorance. Anyway, so uh, it's also possible to say city, uh, let's put a DESC out here, which will order the cities descending within their certain countries. So run this. And I go back down to Brazil. Notice S comes before R. So just to summarize what's going on here, we say order by country. So it orders everything by the country. And then within that country group, we're saying order by the cities then. And so it orders within, uh, the cities within that one country group. Notice that we have a C down here, which is a lot smaller than an S, but Salzburg belongs to Austria. And Capinas, I think that's how it said, is belongs to Brazil. So, so anyway, that's that's ordering by multiple columns.